This audio is brought to you by Muslim Central. Please consider donating to help cover our running costs and future projects by visiting www.muslimcentral.com forward slash donate. Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Dua Revival by Majid Mahmood. Make dua, be certain, and take action. Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Majid Mahmoud recording for the daily reminder. Brothers and sisters, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're finding benefit in these videos. And I'd like to personally thank everyone that is trying to share the beautiful content with their friends and family, even if it was only verbally. For wallahi, if it wasn't for Allah, then people like you, then the project will only go so far. Even though it's the easiest task, just to click share. But the benefit from this is one of the most important things in order for this project to move forward. So once again, thank you very much for doing so. From now on, we will focus on one specific dua in which we will try to implement in our lives whenever there's an opportunity to do so. And who in the world doesn't face an affliction, a calamity in their life? And what shall we say when something very hard falls upon us and we seek Allah's support whenever we face something like that? Are you ready? Bismillah ar rahim Brothers and sisters, the family of Abu Salama radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased by them, was a family full of love, respect, and iman. Beautiful stories between the two spouses, Ummu Salama and Abu Salama, that time will not permit for us to go into detail. They were a family to be among the first ones to ever fulfill the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which was what? To emigrate from Mecca to up north to Medina. And they went there. One of the days, Abu Salama radiallahu anhu, while in Medina, he returns back home, all excited, all joyful. He tells his wife, Ummu Salama, Ya Ummu Salama, لَقَدْ سَمِعْتُ مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ كَلَامًا I have heard from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi words that are more beloved to me than the most precious thing on the face of this earth, the most expensive vehicles. I would not take this over learning these few words. Allahu Akbar. What he's trying to say, if I was given the option to take millions and millions and millions of wealth and dollars, etc., I would rather learn these few words. Allahu Akbar. Umm Salama says, Wama huwa ya Abu Salama? What are these words, ya Abu Salama? He says the following, brothers and sisters, pay attention. The following hadith now is being mentioned in Sahih Muslim. You'll find it right there. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, and don't forget to say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, Ma min Muslimin tusibuhu musiba. Not a single Muslim that whenever he or she is afflicted with an affliction, a hardship, a calamity, and they say, ما أمره الله, whatever Allah ordered me and you to say. What is it, Ya Rasulullah? Three things. إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ To Allah we belong and to Allah we shall return. Number two. اللهم أجرني في مصيبتي Oh Allah, reward me for that pain and the affliction that I'm facing. وأخلف لي خيرا منها And exchange, Ya Allah, the affliction I faced with something that is better, Ya Allah. The Prophet said, no one ever says these three things except that Allah will reward them for that pain they're experiencing. And number two, Allah will exchange them with something better than what they have been afflicted with. Allahu Akbar. Brothers and sisters, Umm Salma radiallahu anha, Sometime after hearing this from her husband, she was afflicted with something that is so major, that is so severe. And I would not exaggerate if I say it is one of the most difficult tests a human being can ever face on the face of this earth, which is what? The loss of a righteous spouse. A spouse full of righteousness and iman. And I ask Allah to allow me and you to die upon La ilaha illallah wa Rasulullah. She lost her husband Abu Salama. And she cried and she was sad and she was devastated. She had so much love towards him. And the whole city of Medina knew how much love Love was between these two great people. But Umm Salama, she remembered the command of Allah, which for me to say these three statements whenever I'm afflicted with a calamity and affliction. And she went to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and can you imagine maybe she's saying it while she was crying and she can hardly breathe properly. She says, Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raji'un. To Allah I belong and to Allah we shall return. Then she says, Allahumma ajurni fi musabati. Allah, ya Allah, reward me for the affliction, for the calamity I'm facing, ya Allah. And then she says, Thumma hamamtu. I was about to say the last part, which was, and substitute me, and exchange me with something better than what I have lost. 
But she says, woman, ahsan, and who's better than Abu Salama? Who's better than such a great man? Or what can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ever give me in wealth or anything that can be better in substitution than the husband that I lost? But her iman, brothers and sisters, was stronger than all of this. Her iman was so powerful. She believed in Allah's promise. She was certain. So she made dua. She was certain and she's going to take action. And she said, وَأَخْلِفْ لِي خَيْرًا مِنْ Ya Allah, and substitute me and exchange me with something better than affliction that I have faced. Brothers and sisters, not too long after that, someone knocked on the door of the house of Umm Salama radiallahu anha. Who is that man and why he is here? And he came on behalf of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who sent him? Why? Why did the Prophet send him? To tell her that he came on behalf of the Prophet for the Prophet is wanting to ask her hand in marriage. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. How do you think Umm Salma radiallahu anha, she looked at him and how she felt when she heard that news? Do you think she said, me? Do I deserve from my husband to be Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best man ever walked on earth? The man who's so handsome, so beautiful, so generous, so kind, so respectful. The man who is sent as mercy to mankind is my husband. He came to ask me for marriage. Allahu Akbar. Do you think she said, Alhamdulillah, ladi sadaqana wa'ada? Praise be to Allah, the one who fulfilled this promise. Allahu A'lam. But definitely she cried. Definitely she was so emotional. And she says, Allahu Akbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qad abdalani. Allah has substituted me with someone better than Abu Salama, who was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, whenever you afflict with an affliction, say, Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi raji'oon. Allahumma ajurni fi musibati wa akhlif li khayran minha. I personally have face things like that and I said that statement and we've seen it and I'm sure many of you have already said it and many of you saw the consequences but due to the time I will cannot say these stories but inshallah maybe in the future please do your best to share this video wallahi you never know you might be means of being the ones who are means to lift the hajib from the many people in the ummah by sharing this video go ahead and share it bismillah ar rahim may Allah reward you feel free to like the video Click here to subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. But what's most important is what? Share the video. May Allah reward you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate. And stay updated by joining our network's social links. By joining our network's social links.